The Corps' Wimbledon District Dredge Merit arrived at the Memphis District's Ensley Engineer Yard the morning of November the 2nd for an extended period of maintenance work. Ensley Engineering Yard is a full-service marine maintenance facility designed to support the navigation and flood control missions in this region. The Merritt left its home port of Wilmington, North Carolina on October 19th. It traveled down the eastern seaboard with a stop at Daytona Beach, around the tip of Florida, and skirted the Gulf Coast until it reached Mobile, Alabama. From Mobile, it traveled north on the Tennessee Tom Bigby Waterway to the Ohio River, and finally down the Mississippi River to Memphis. The Merritt is in Memphis for major maintenance aimed at significantly extending its service life. We received the dredge Merritt from the Wilmington District this week. Um, we have a lot of work planned on that vessel. We'll have it on dry dock uh, up through March. Uh, scheduled completion date is 30 March. Some of the major components of work consist of uh, replating the hull, uh, some structural re uh, structural modifications or replacement uh, internal to the dredge, and sanitation and potable water tank framing and tank replacement. Um, there's also some other uh, smaller components that consist of electrical work and other types of uh, things to support the readiness of that vessel. This will be the first time Inslee Engineer Yard works on a dredge like the Merritt. Unlike the dustpan and cutter head dredges you usually see operating on the Mississippi and other inland rivers, the Merritt is a sidecast dredge and typically works in the inlets along the South Atlantic coast. It uses two dredge arms on each side of the vessel to remove sediment from the bottom. It then pumps the sediment through a discharge pipe outside the channel and into the direction of the current. The Merritt began its life in 1944 as YSD-59, a U.S. Navy seaplane wrecking derrick. The Corps of Engineers later acquired the vessel and converted it to a dredge in 1964. Workers at the Inslee Engineer Yard will spend about 10 days preparing the Merritt for work before bringing it into a large floating dry dock and lifting it out of the water. The work at Inslee Engineer Yard will take about five months to complete and the Merritt crew expects to head home to Wilmington by March 30th. This has been a Memphis Moment. Thanks for watching and essay on. Let us try.